Hi there guys, how are you doing? This is your friend and tutor Manas and guys today we're going to be continuing our discussion on conic sections and to be very specific I'm going to talk about the tangent method for parabola preparation. So let's see what this particular problem has in store for us. Here we go. Um, a fountain jet discharges water from ground level at an inclination of 60 degrees to the ground. The jet travels a horizontal distance of 8 meters from the point of discharge and falls on the ground. Trace the path of the jet, name the curve. Well, the curve obviously is going to be a parabola. Um, let's see how all of this can be worked out. But before that, I'm going to show you a small picture. Okay, so this is the fountain jet. And let us say the jet is released from this particular point at an angle of say 60 degrees, all right? And it finally strikes, following this parabolic path, it finally strikes the ground or the water level somewhere here. Okay, so this is the final point. Now, just try to think about this, guys. It is, It has been released at an angle of 60 degrees, okay? So the impact that it is going to have at the end somewhere here, again, this angle will be 60 degrees. And this is the logic that we're gonna be implementing for making the construction of such a parabola. So let's see how all of this can be worked out. Okay, so this is the tangent method and uh, we need to take a scale. We are assuming that one meter in reality is equivalent to one centimeter on a drawing sheet because it's not possible for us to draw a line of eight meter. All right, so this is the horizontal distance, eight meters on drawing sheet. You have to make this um, eight centimeters. All right, now the jet is gonna start from here and then it's going to follow this parabolic path until it reaches here. So at an angle of, initially it has been released at an angle of 60 degrees. So this is going to be a line drawn at an angle of 60 degrees. Now, when the jet finishes its path, it's going to end somewhere here. Okay. And at the same time, this angle again is going to be 60 degrees. All right. So you can draw these two lines at an angle of 60 degrees, one in the anti-clockwise sense, other one in the clockwise sense, and both of them are going to intersect somewhere here. All right. Now let's move further. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna divide this inclined line, okay? These two lines into 12 equal parts. You can do 14 parts or you can do 10 parts. Make sure it's an even number, all right? If you do more number of parts, you're gonna get a smoother curve, that's why. So in order to divide this line into 12 parts, I'm gonna pick up this point and from this point, I'm gonna draw a line randomly of any length, of any random angle in fact, and then I'm gonna be placing 12 points starting from here, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now let me do this quickly. 12 points. Now, started from this point and we're gonna end up with this. So the 12th point has to be joined with this one and then keep your mini chapter set along this line, align along this line, tighten the screw, bring it to this 11th point, 10th, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. There you go. So you can clearly see that this line gets divided into say 12 equal parts. So we're gonna start from here. Let's say this is zero. This is gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and this is gonna be 11. All right. Now the same stuff has to be repeated over to this side of the line also. Now this line again has to be divided into 12 equal parts. Process is pretty much the same. Again, a line of any random length at any random angle. Then again, you need to pl place 12 points like this. Let me do this quickly. 12th point with the end of this line. Keep your trapters aligned along this line. Tighten the screw, bring it to this 11th point, 10th point, and you can see all these parallel lines are emerging from these points, okay? Like this. Now we have it, 12 parts along this line also. And we're gonna start from here. Say this is zero. This is gonna be one dash, two dash, and so on. That's it. Now, the concept. You guys can note down this concept. The concept says, uh, join zero with one dash and then do an increment of one, always. So zero with one dash, then one with two dash, then two with three dash, or you can also say that it's n with n plus uh, one dash. This is how you're gonna join these points with the help of a line. All right, let me show you how that can be done. So we're gonna join this zero with one dash, something like this, this one with this two dash, all right? And keep on doing so, two with three dash, three with four dash, and keep on doing so. All right, all right. Now, all these lines that I've drawn just now are what you call tangents, okay? 
So this is going to be a slightly reverse approach for this problem. What we usually do is we make a curve and then we put up a tangent. So we already have the tangent and to this particular tangent, to all these tangents, we're going to draw a curve and it's going to look something like this. That's it. So that's the tangent method of parabola preparation. And this method is pretty good. Trust me. So guys, that was all from my side for today. If you have any doubts or queries to write them down in the comment section below, I'll be very happy to answer them. I'll be taking up some more problems based on parabola construction, some real life problems, and uh, it's going to be fun. Until then, it's a wrap for today. This is Manas Patnaik signing off. Take care, have a great day and keep drawing.